iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is your big brother, King Jabez. Back today with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at the King Jabez, as well as my website, theironandsoul.com. Whatever you decide to do, it will be greatly appreciated. Let's do some work. Today's video is entitled, You Are About to Manifest That First 100K. You are about to manifest, reveal, make it happen, that first 100K. So I want you to really sit down, get a seat. I'm going to try to tap in today, give you some notes, give you some thoughts, perspective. This is one to save. This is a video to take notes to. So I'm going to take my time, break this down, what I mean by, by this, how this can help you, and how you can begin to work towards manifesting that first 100K. Now, when I say 100K, this is obviously multifaceted. We're referring to 100K of actual liquid cash. We're referring to 100K in terms of an income that you make over the course of a year or possibly even two of it takes you. We're referring to 100K on your video, on your um, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you may be at. We're referring to manifesting your first 100K followers on any of these platforms. So 100K is a respectable number in various platforms online as well as of course in our everyday real life in terms of currency and money so i want to really encourage you in today's video and speak this word over your life you are about to manifest your first 100k so number one i'm gonna start with the obvious and get a little more deeper as we go into this number one first of all you're going to manifest this because of hard work in reading the autobiography of malcolm x it is documented that he will work sometimes 14 hour days for weeks at a time he was known to consistently only sleep for four hours which i'm not recommending that but what i am saying is that people who make big moves in this earth are men and women who have a work ethic or what the bible refers to as diligence diligence is used in the book of proverbs a book of wisdom over and over again so i'm speaking to men and women who have applied themselves over the last four to five years probably your whole life but in particular 2020, 2021, 22, 23, these last four years, you've put in the work. You have uploaded hundreds of videos. You have went to business conferences. You have shown yourself consistent. You have went to school, earned degrees, built connections. You have been working very hard at your craft, and it is now time for you to manifest. You're going to receive this because you have dealt with the spirit of poverty in the spirit realm. Let me read this today directly from a book, Spiritual Warfare and Deliverance by Brother John Eckhart. There are believers who give. They believe God, yet they feel so bad they can't seem to get a financial breakthrough. They can't seem to get employment or opportunities for their business. They can't seem to overcome, and they get depressed. They begin to feel as though they don't have enough faith. Maybe they don't believe God enough, or maybe they're not saved enough like someone else. Maybe they're not close to God. Maybe they don't. God doesn't like them. Maybe God doesn't favor them the way he favors others. Well, it could be a stubborn spirit of poverty that has been in a family for generations, a curse or a generational spirit. Let me park right there. Many of you right now, listen to me. In the past, you have worked two, three jobs and still couldn't get a hell. You know why? Because there was a generational spirit that you didn't deal with. I have told you on my platform over and over again, you cannot outwork a devil. You got to get rid of it. You hear me? So some of you, you're going to receive this blessing because of your hard work but in addition to that you are dealing with the source and so many people right now in this earth are struggling worldwide listen to your big brother listen to me don't tune me out don't get don't don't get scared of this receive this many people are struggling right now because you're working hard you're diligent you're you're disciplined you're in the gym you're reading you're fast you're doing everything but deal with the spirit and some of you right now need to receive this word there is a spirit of poverty that you need to deal with and until you cast it out, until you get rid of that, cast out in a Greek means to push out with force. Oh, we're doing some work today. You got to get rid of that spirit with force. It's time for you to go. And until you do that, 
you're going to struggle. In addition to that, many of you are going to be successful because of your moral excellence. Moral excellence is the highest standard. I released a video on TikTok when I challenged people to practice celibacy for a season, for a lifetime for some of you. And that video has about 50 or 6,000 views, a lot of comments, a lot of feedback, because many of you understand this revelation. When you control your S energy, this helps you to manifest. It is well documented across many religions, Hindu, Christian, Muslim, you name it. Most people worldwide understand the power of your S energy. And when you can harness that as men, as women, this does help your manifestations to increase. So you will get the back quicker. Okay, understand what I'm saying today. So many of you are going to receive this because you have learned the discipline of S transmutation. In other words, you've taken that drive and you redirected it to your workouts. You've taken that drive and you redirected it. I want to bring it back home, back to Iron Soul. You, you redirected it back to your business, back to your finances, back to your physical appearance, back to your spiritual growth and journey. So you took that energy that's in us, the S energy is creative energy, and you're creating, and in your creation, you're going to manifest 100,000 a lot quicker as opposed if you didn't do this. So that's for about a hundred of you who see this video, who can't control yourself, who are, I know you're mad at me now, who are losing your S energy every day. Control yourself, brother. Control yourself, sister. That is keeping you back financially. Get some discipline. Control the energy. Harness that energy and transmute it to creation. That's what it's for. It's a powerful drive that God gave us to push us towards creation. We are on this earth to create, to build, to make. And so you have to take that energy, take that enthusiasm, and when you harness it, it becomes charisma. Okay? Some of you ask me, brother, brother Iron, how do you get your charisma? How did you learn how to do these speeches like this? Through years, with God's help, the help of the Most High, I have learned how to harness my energy. And that gives us charisma. That gives us genius. I'm giving you a secret that people know all over the earth. You want to manifest 100,000? Sir, ma'am, control yourself. It starts with self. Don't worry about your enemies. Don't worry about who don't like you. Don't care who don't like you. Don't matter about who don't like you. Don't like them either. <laughs> it don't matter about none of that. Control you. And when you get control over yourself, you are unstoppable. So I'm going to step into my office for a second. I'm going to prophesy over you. I'm going to speak this word. Some of you, within the next six months, you're going to get your first 100K video. You're going to get your first 100K followers on IG. Your first 100K followers on YouTube. I'm speaking for you. Some of you are about to manifest a $100,000 job. Some of you are going to get blessed and get 100K liquid cash. I am not talking fantasy. This is what's happening. I'm talking to thousands of people. And I know for a fact I'm speaking to some of y'all. It may not be all of y'all. I'm going to speak to you today. I'm going to speak right now. Some of you are about to get your first 100,000 views on YouTube. Some of you are about to get 100,000 followers over on Twitter, over on IG. Some of you are about to manifest $100,000 cash, and others within the next year or two are going to manifest a 100K job. Listen to what I'm saying to you today. You are about to manifest or to reveal or to have it come to you your first 100K. And notice I said first because it won't be the last. It's going to be like a river. I had a dream a while ago about a river flowing with gold and silver in it. So it's going to be a continual flowing. So it won't be the first one. It won't be the last one. I said first, not last. It'll be the first, but it's going to be a second. There's going to be a third. There's going to be a fourth. It's going to continue. So once you get this ball rolling, and that's why some of you right now are under so much pressure. That's why you have so much adversity right now. Some of you feel like you're losing your mind because you're about to break through and go forward into new territory. Somebody say in the comment section, new territory. Somebody else say new land. Somebody say that you have getting new territory. It's been expanded to you because of your work. I'm not going to preach to you, but if you made this far, you're going to get this work now. If you, if you made this far in the video, say, brother, I'm going to tap in. You're going to get this work now. How many know that the most high will give you double for your trouble? Let me talk to you today. Let me go ahead and tap in and preach to you for a second. I'm going to go ahead and step to my preaching office real quick. Real quick, if you don't care. You're going to get double for your trouble. You understand me? Job got double back of everything he lost. Do you understand me? Joseph received more in his land of prosperity and, and virtue than he did when he was struggling. He was a prisoner and slave for 13 years. He was in leadership and a governor for well over 30. You hear me? So you will always get double for your trouble because the Most High is just. He is fair. So if you have been through hardship and trials for 5 years, for 10 years, 15 years, the Most High is going to bless you for that and give you double for your trouble. In other words, you're going to be delivered and you're going to remove any spiritual obstacle that has gotten in your way and stopped you from making progress. This means you're going to begin to break 
and dismantle demonic covenants. There have been covenants that have been made through your ancestors. There are covenants you have made through your own actions. Some of you have a code involvement. Some of you have um, ancestral worship you've been a part of. Some of you have been involved in witchcraft. So it's a time now to break those demonic covenants. And this leaves the room for deliverance. It means you go free. You have been in this spiritual prison for so long. And now it's time for you to break free. We learn from Proverbs that through knowledge, the righteous are delivered. My people perish for a lack of knowledge. So as you increase your wisdom, as you read more books, biographies, spiritual books, financial books, physical fitness, as you increase your knowledge, your finance will increase. Whenever there's a release of wealth, there's first a release of wisdom. Let me talk to you. There is first a craving and a release of wisdom first before there's wealth. Go back and listen to one of my old videos. I talked about this about a year ago. I called it wisdom, war, and wealth. There is a wisdom release. That wisdom gives you the tools you need to go to spiritual war. And when you succeed and win the war, then there's a release of wealth. That's what today's video is about. This is the release of wealth that comes to you because you gained the wisdom, you fought the battles, and now it's time for the spoil. You got that? So you got three W's there. Wisdom, war, and wealth. Write that down for those taking notes. I want you to write in the comment section. I want you to watch this whole video. Tap in. Discipline yourself. Receive this. Discipline yourself for teaching. You got the wisdom. You got the war. And you have the wealth. Many people want the wealth without the fight and without the wisdom. That's not how it works. And this is why I tell you, if you can't war with me, then you can't handle my wealth. If you can't war, go to war with me and fight with me. Don't come around with the spoils here. Everyone wants spoil, but people don't want the fight. They don't want the battles. They don't want the years of drought. Huh? The drought comes before the rain. Huh? The drought comes before the rain. And when you're going through that drought, people leave you. They think you fell off. They leave you for dead. But while you're in that drought, you're increasing your wisdom. You're going to war. And then the wealth is released. You receive that? So this is why many of you right now feel this fear around you. You feel this, this panic. is because you're going to new territory. Whenever you go into new territory, it's unfamiliar. You feel nervous. You don't know what to expect. This is new territory. It's a new environment. So embrace that change. Embrace the season of change. Get used to doing things differently. Get used to building new connections. Get used to going to new cities. Let me talk to you. Get used to doing things differently. Get used to taking new classes. Get used to hitting new PRs in the gym. Let me talk to my fitness people for a second. Get used to creating new songs for my Artists who follow my content. You dig? Get used to new stuff. Get uncomfortable. Huh? If you're too comfortable, you're not growing. It's, it's, we need to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You understand me? I'm tired of playing with y'all. I'm going to give y'all this word today. Get, get uncomfortable. Get engaged. Get active. Get out here and get into the war and get what belongs to you. You're not going nowhere comfortable, sir. You're not going nowhere comfortable, ma'am. If you want to be the best you can be, get uncomfortable. That's why they do that in the military, by the way. I haven't been to the military, but I have. My brother-in-law was in the Marines. I thought about going to the Army when I was 18. And one thing I know about the military, they make you get uncomfortable. You hear me? They make you face adversity. They make you get into gas chambers to prepare you for that. They have rituals they do where they have to get you used to going to combat. You dig? They make it uncomfortable. So if we call ourselves warriors in, in the Most Highest Army, we got to be okay with battles. We got to be okay with a little pressure. And the reason the pressure is on you, let me talk to you now. It's like, bring this all the way home. You're being trained for a battle you're not ready for yet. Huh? You are in boot camp. And so that's why you got these weights being put on you because you're getting used to lifting these spiritual weights. And the only way you're going to get stronger is by lifting heavier weights. You can't lift those same weights you lifted 10 years ago. You have to lift new weights in the spirit realm. And as you get stronger and stronger and stronger, your territory increases, your influence increases, your clout goes up because you got the victory in the spirit realm first. With that being said, you, look at you, are about to receive that first 100K. Receive that. Embrace that. Grow. And let yourself really become the best version you can become. That's all I have for you today. This is your big brother, King Jabez. Thanks for listening. God bless. Peace.